Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight for some stamping fun. I've got a free stamping class for you just like I do every Sunday night. I'm going to get myself pulled up here on my iPad, which I am getting better at. I'm excited about that. I felt like, oh, you know how it is when something's new, right? Okay, so let's see. There we are. No, nope, that's not it. Hang on. There it is. Okay, whew, good deal. And I think I'll leave it right like that so I can see your comments when I turn. Did you guys get a close-up of my new haircut? It's not new, right? But it is a haircut because it's the same, but it's nice. Do you love when you get your hair cut and all the ratty stuff is gone? Oh, it feels so good. I'm so happy. So yeah, if any of you guys are in the valley, that's where I live, in the Fox Valley. If anybody's in the valley and you need a hairstylist, I have the girl for you. She's amazing. Her name is Destiny, and I love her. I've been going to her for years. I see Lori coming in and Darlene coming in. Ooh, I forgot to switch out my glasses. Hang on. Yeah, I need to go to the eye doctor and get that taken care of, don't I? <laughs> it's like so annoying. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Welcome, and Lori's here. So, you guys, I have a ton of cards to show you tonight. I'm so excited. So, you guys know when you remember when I was whining about all the swaps that I joined and I was completely crazy and I will never do that again? Well, I'm pretty happy that I have them all. So, I spent some time and I went and organized them all. So, I have them in the categories that I need them in. And um, I'm going to be sharing some of them with you tonight because, well, that's why we do this, right? And hi, Laura Pryor. I'm happy you made it here live, too. I see this is your first time watching a live. I hope you enjoy it. I know that I have a lot of fun with it. Crazy. Okay, first up, I've got a little bit of businessy things to take care of. We had the Resin Hearts embellishments. This was a gift a couple weeks ago to Becky Blumen of Lakeville, Minnesota. Becky, I need your address, and I did send you a private message on Facebook, but I have not heard from you, so please get in touch with me before next Sunday, January 31st, so I can get these off in the mail to you. If I do not hear from you by January 31st, I'm going to have to put these back into my door prize drawings, which means you won't get to have them. <laughs> okay, next up, same thing with Penny... Freeman, uh, yeah, Penny Freeman. I have ribbon and this little flower punch that you won. And um, same thing, it's been a couple weeks now. By January 31st, if I don't hear from you, these are going back into the door, door prize drawings. And I hate to do that, right? I hate it because what if you watch in another week and you're like, oh, I missed it. We don't want people to be unhappy. <laughs> okay. Um, what kind of announcements do I have today? I will have a new host code. I just put up a new host code. When I turn my phone around, you guys will see it on my desktop. But I'm also going to send you a link. Not send you. I'm going to post a link on my Facebook page so that you can um, easily click on that. It'll go right to my store and have the host code put in there. Now, you only want to use that if your order is under $150. If you're gonna order over $150, you don't wanna use the code because you're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have those. But if you aren't gonna get them, I want them so I can order fabulous prizes to give away, right? That's what I do with most of it. For my team, I, I do a lot of door prizes every month for my team. I do door prizes, three of them every week for you guys. Um, I see people are saying that they joined the Stamp Happy Academy website membership and they are super happy about it. Thank you so much. That has been in the making for a while and it's something that um, was a tremendous amount of work and um, we're just so happy that it's live and so far it's been a huge success. If you guys haven't checked that out, I know that this is going to be backwards, okay, but I'll show it to you when I flip my phone around. StampHappyAcademy.com. If you go there, you will um, be able to see all the details and find out how to get yourself a membership. And we'll talk about that in a little minute. In a in a little minute. <laughs> in a little while. So I see everybody is getting on tonight. Oh, Charlene says sorry about Green Bay. Thank you, Charlene. It was very sad to watch that game go down. 
Um, the Packers, for those of you that know, don't know, um, I live in Wisconsin, and the Green Bay Packers are our professional football team. And they lost in the playoffs today. If they would have won today, they would be going to the Super Bowl, which is our huge football game of the year. And so, hmm, I was going to wear my green and gold, too, but I kind of forgot because I was in my pajamas all day. <laughs> but don't worry. I am smelling good now. I took a shower before I come on here so that I can feel fresh and awake. And... um I am still in review. Who is that? Jane Freeman. Okay, Jane, hang on. I'm going to write myself a note. I will check on your membership. I know that we had a tremendous amount of memberships come in all at once. And I will look into yours and see if I can get you put into a category. Yeah, Elaine says we still love them. Yes, we do. I know, and I was kind of excited. I wanted the, um, hang on, SHA membership. I will forget why I wrote Jane's name down. Um, I was kind of excited. I wanted the Packers to go to the Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs. And um, I have some fans, some followers that are in Kansas City or are Kansas City Chiefs fans. And um, my dad actually helped build that stadium. So I thought, oh, that would be kind of cool, right? And, well, it's all over now. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, it's not the end of the world, right? I heard a thing. Oh, I'm not even going to say it because it's kind of depressing. I won't say the thing. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a John update. So Steve had a little chat with John. Um, I think today they were both outside blowing snow because we got like four inches of snow overnight. It's so pretty. It's always pretty until about the end of February, right? And then you're like, oh my Lord, if it snows one more time, I'm going to poke my eyes out. <laughs> but right now it's still pretty. Um, so we got a bunch of snow last night and Steve was out snow blowing and John was out snow blowing and they had a little chat and I'm sad to say I did not know this but John owns a duplex through our backyards like his backyard our backyard in his backyard he owns a duplex on the next street and I didn't even know that but his dad lived in part of the duplex and I'm sad to say that his dad passed away last week so um, sending prayers and, and um, sympathy to his family. And uh, that's all the John news I have. And then once again, John or Haley or Haley, Haley, John, Steve. I don't even know who I live with. Um, Steve said he's such a nice guy. He just goes with the flow. And I'm like, yeah, he is a nice guy. So, but um, yeah, yeah. Connie says John update. Love it. Um, yeah. So you know, let's be thinking about his family as they go through this kind of hard time. His dad was 92 years old. So. That's awesome, right, that his dad got to be that age. I always, as long as you're in good health. If you're not in good health, that's not going to be okay. But if you're in good health, and I hear about a lot of people like, my grandma's 90-some years old or my mom is 90-some years old. And I'm like, you're kidding me. That's awesome. So um, that's my John update. And yesterday, uh, we went up to Anna's new summer home. So Anna and her family in-laws are buying a summer cottage up about an hour north of us. And um, we got to go up there because it's ice fishing season here. It's like when you drive by a lake in Wisconsin, it looks like there's a little city out there with all the little houses. So um, we went up there and Steve went out ice fishing with the other guys, Stephanie's boyfriend and Anna's husband. And then all the kids were ice fishing and us girls stayed in the summer home or summer home. Yeah, in the summer home cottage. It's not a camper like my summer home. It's a real summer home, you know, like planted on the ground. <laughs> it's pretty fancy. It's not fancy. It's just very nice. And um, we had a great time and we ended up staying for supper, which was wonderful. And um, it was St it's Stephanie's birthday next weekend, so we got to celebrate that. And I took her her birthday presents, so that was fun. But I'm so happy for them because they sold their camper a couple years ago. They had a, a camper summer home. You know, you know about my summer homes, right? Um, that was on a permanent campsite, and um, they sold that a couple years ago. And I know they've been sad since they don't have it anymore. So now buying this cottage is going to be fantastic and it's really nice three bedrooms two bathrooms um great big yard a, a big patio area out in the back with a fire pit it's not right on the lake 
but it's very there's a little path that you walk down to go to the lake. So that's really cool. Whose mom is 102? Kathy's mom is 102. Oh my goodness. That's awesome too. As long as their quality of life is still good, right? That's that's what I love. Okay, um what else do I have to tell you? I just had a couple notes here. And oh, I have to tell you when we were driving up to Anna's summer cottage yesterday, um, we got behind some slow people. And of course, Steve was driving. And so he's like, oh, they just don't have the you-know-whats to pass that car in front of them. And I said, just calm down. We are out for a leisurely drive today. We're not in a hurry. It's not a big deal. I said, there's no road rage on a leisurely drive. And he looked at me and he goes, well, I just want to let you know, when we go on a leisurely drive, there is always road rage. <laughs> and we laughed and laughed. It's like, stop. No road rage. Yeah. So um, I'm going to talk to you about the Stamp Happy Academy, just in case anybody missed it last week. I want to make sure you guys know what your options are. And I need to award prizes from last week. So let me see. Um, our first prize is going to be for commenting. So there's three ways to win. And one way is to comment like you're doing right now. People are commenting. They're saying hi from, you know, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, go Bills, I see. Somebody just said go Bills. Yeah. Um, the Chiefs are winning 21 to 9. I'm really excited about that, Lisa, because my cousin's son is a huge Chiefs fan. So that's, that's exciting for him. And I'm going to be happy for his family that they're going to get to, you know, have their team in the Super Bowl. But... We have prizes to award, three ways to win. One way is to, oh, Corinne, she says her mom is 94, and I know I've met Corinne's mom, and she is wonderful. So we have three ways to win. Squirrel, commenting, sharing this video, which you can do right now, and also placing an order. So I give away three prizes every Sunday. And I want to show you the first prize. Now, this is something that was in our holiday mini catalog. But as I was looking through my bin of prizes, I thought, you guys, Valentine's Day is coming up. And after Valentine's Day is um, um, St. Patrick's Day. And so I've got the green and gold tool tidings glitter dots. And what do you guys think of my tiny hands? <laughs> I just had to show you those. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so tiny hands are apparently a really funny um, trendy thing that's going on right now with kids it's on some show that they watch and I don't know which one it is <laughs> I know right um, but Haley got Porter Stephanie's son who is I think 13 a pair or a set of these you get 10 hands she got him a set of these for Christmas and we had so much fun with them. So for the birthday boys, my husband and his two high school friends, I bought a set. I bought a pack of 10 tiny hands and I gave them each a vintage 1961 shirt and a um, sun visor hat with gray crazy hair coming out the top. And then they each got a pair of tiny hands. <laughs> and it was a huge hit. Debbie loves the hands. Okay. I'm not going to scratch my nose with them. That would be gross, but I do have a scratch. Anyways, back to our winner. Hang on. Let me do this right. <laughs> Jean Barclow of Hagerstown, Maryland. You are the winner of these tool tidings. Um, glitter dots. And again, Valentine's Day is perfect. And then also make yourself some St. Patrick's Day cards because we've got green and red. And I thought this is the perfect time to have these, not only for Christmas, but now too. <laughs> Congratulations, Jean. I do have your address, by the way. And I will be dropping these off in the mail to you tomorrow. So next up, we have, um, I still have a whole bunch of these paper pumpkin kits okay or um stamp sets these were in a paper pumpkin kit and they're that really fun one with the bunny and the flowers and all the really super nice sentimental sayings hi cindy ellers i am going to include these with a pack of the blue adhesive backed gems so these pretty ones with this i thought these would go really nice with this stamp set okay and these are going out for sharing this video these are going out to Kimberly Malam, 
from Talbot, Tennessee. These are going to be yours, Kimberly. And I do have your address. I will drop those in the mail. Wendy, Wendy says the hands are cracking me up. I know, right? You know, if we can't laugh, I don't know what the point would be. I love to laugh and it just makes me happy and things just go better when you're happy, don't they? <laughs> oh wait, what did somebody say about the hands? Um, I think you should give the hands away too. Oh, maybe we'll do that next week. But somebody has to remind me because I'll forget. I do have another pair left because I gave away three pairs to the guys and this is a pair that I have to keep for myself and then I have one more pair over here so I can maybe give the tiny hands away. <laughs> that would be funny. Next up, we have this fabulous dry brush background stamp. This is really cool, you guys. It's often overlooked in our annual catalog, but it's a really cool background stamp. And um, for placing an order last through between last Sunday and this Sunday, Pam Olson of Victorville, California, this is going to be yours. Now, I do have your address, Pam, so don't worry about that. Congratulations to all our winners. I love giving stuff away. It's like just the funnest thing for me. Sharing all of this great product is, uh, is pretty cool. Oh, don't let me forget to do mail, too. I'll have to look back here behind me. I have things that I need to do before we're done tonight. So don't let me forget to do mail because I got some gifts and I have some beautiful cards to share with you. And now not only do we have the tiny hand, but we also have the unicorn. Don't forget about that. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, one last thing. I think Danny Garola is on here. Danny is one of my team members. And I just want to let you know, Danny, that your bundle came in. The Forever and Always bundle, um, stamp set and dies. And Danny actually is getting this as a promotional gift from me because she promoted to Silver. And when you promote to Silver, you get a product credit with me of, of $50. And this is what Danny chose as her $50 goodie. And you're going to love these. So as long as I had this out, I was going through my swap cards and I thought, mm, I should really show you guys some swap cards. So what I'm going to do is I am going to turn the camera around now. I'm going to show you these cards made with the beautiful forever and always. And then we're going to go over Stamp Happy Academy and then we're going to stamp. Oh, what is, why is this here? I think I was going to give this away as a gift. We'll save that till next time. Okay. God help us if that battery ever, di ever dies. I know, right? Yeah. Who doesn't love a unicorn, right? My husband's called me a unicorn from time to time. That's supposed to be a pretty amazing thing. <laughs> Let's turn the camera around. I think we're ready. And we are going to start some stamping. Now, hang on just a second while I get myself set up. And as you guys see, that fancy software that I told you about that I bought, well, I really did buy it. I'm not lying about that, but I still haven't had time to figure it out. So rather than have some type of disaster, I need time to figure out what we're going to do there. Um, I was super duper busy. Um, Wednesday, I got to babysit baby Val and oh my gosh, just had a blast with her. And then Friday, I asked Haley and Jared if I could pick her up early from daycare and I brought her home because I had a little retail therapy session with Amazon and I bought her um, some toys, <laughs> a few. Steve was getting rather annoyed with the amount of boxes that were showing up. But if I'm going to have her every Wednesday, I need to have things, right? I need to have um, some baby spoons and some baby bowls. And I got her a little sippy cup. And what if she needs to take a bath? I had to get her some bath toys. And... Um, <laughs> I had to get her some regular toys to play with. I see that Bonita is asking, did you change your room around or is your camera in a different place? My camera was in a different place. So I'm still working on my room and I need to, um, my guy, my, my guy that built this room for me is coming by this week. His wife is going to have a baby any day now. So provided that that doesn't happen in the next couple days, he's going to be stopping by because I want him to, um, create a desk for me. I, I, I have my vision now. I've lived in my room for a little while. I know what I want and I know that this desk that I have here is not working for me. So I'm going to have him come in and make a desk for me. And um, yeah, so my room is a little bit 
it's still the same. I didn't move anything, but my camera's just in a different spot because I can't figure out what to do. But we'll get it figured out, you guys. I know you'll help me figure this out and you'll let me know if it's good. Um, Sherry wants to know, where do we sign up for the tiny hands? Give me a share. And if you share the tiny hand, or if you share my video, everybody that shares the tiny hands will be thrown in with the um, share share wins. I'm writing this down, tiny hands. Everybody who shares will get an opportunity to win the tiny hands. So share tiny hands drawing. I'm never gonna be able to read this. You guys know that, right? But you'll remind me, right? So other thing I'm really excited about too, I shouldn't have turned my camera around so soon. Um, I have a dry erase board. So I got this dry erase board. Well, it's just, you know, white, white board. And this one is 17 by 23. But um, that wasn't big enough because Kelly's a busy girl and she has a lot of things she needs to put on a dry erase board. So I got this ginormous one. Maybe next week I'll show it to you guys. It's huge, but I think it's going to work. And that's where all those kind of notes are going to go. So I don't have to be second guessing myself all the time, which makes me crazy. Okay, here we go. And Nancy says, be care, be careful with the bath toys. Where did that go? Be careful with the bath toys. I just missed it. Um, I want to see what she said because, oh, I don't know where it went. I'm sorry. She said, be careful with the bath toys because something, and now I can't find it. If you want to say that again, I will read it. Something about the holes in them. Oh, hot glue the holes shut. They get wet inside, never dry out, and get really gross. Oh, well, thank you for that tip because these little balls that I bought have these little spinny things inside of them, and they're clear, and but they have pretty big holes in them so you can drain them. So... I hope we'll be okay, but I'll watch for that for sure. Okay, Stamp Happy Academy, you guys. This is our brand new membership website. And you've got um, two different types of membership, actually three. Your basic membership is $19.95 a month. It includes four online classes per month. Those are the PDFs that you guys have been purchasing from me. And special events throughout the year. Right now, we are going to be ending our catalog kickoff this next week. And we've had a lot of fun in there, live presentations. It's been great. I do this in conjunction with my Stamping Up demonstrator friends, Dina Rico, Barb Mulliken, and then Kelly Atchison. I'm just scrolling my um, comments. <laughs> Deb wants the unicorn. Not a chance, Deborah. <laughs> um, then we have a premium membership. Premium membership includes everything that the basic membership includes for $34.95, but it also includes three live stamping classes every month, and um, plus the four online classes and all the special events. So with the premium membership, you get the whole, whole thing. Now, I did um, two live classes last week, one in the catalog kickoff that was a blast. For those of you that are in the catalog kickoff group, we had so much fun. I also did the Stamp Happy live classes, and it's all about layouts. I did three different layouts, and I shared three different cards, so nine total cards with you with those layouts. So that was really fun, too. Lots of great tips and techniques in these um, live stamping classes. And like I said, Dina does one, Barb does one, I do one each month. And the other thing that we have is the Stamp Happy Live. Now, if you don't want a membership to Stamp Happy Academy, you can get the Stamp Happy Live, which includes three live classes per month for $20 as a standalone class instead of a membership, okay? And then I wanted to show you, when you go to our Stamp Happy Live website, this is what it looks like. And you just type in stamphappylive.com. You're going to find it, click on it. When you get in there, what you need to do is you need to sign up. So right here in the very top right corner, as um, you're looking at the website, is a click on sign up. Now, if you've already made an account, you click on sign in. Click on sign up and create yourself an account. If you are on my team, you get a basic membership for free. And if you're on my team, you want to click on sign up and make an account. Do not click on anything else because down further on the website is where you choose whether you want a basic membership, a premium membership, or a Stamp Happy Live class membership only. If you're on my team, you get the basic membership free. The only thing you would be adding is the Stamp Happy Live, so you don't have to pay any money unless you choose to. That's a really good reason to join and become a discount shopper with us because 
What's included in just the basic membership is $80 worth the classes. The, the value is $80 in online classes for $19.95. Okay, next up, when you're going on the website, once you have signed in, you have purchased your membership, give us a little bit of time. We have to go in and put you into a category. And then you will click on the tabs that run right across the bottom of the top graphic. And the new January 3rd, June, new catalog kickoff tab is under Stamp Happy Academy. Classes are down here. There's a Stamp Happy Live tab. And if you did not get the premium membership, you're not even going to get in there. So that's why you wouldn't be able to click on the other tabs. The other thing that I wanted to let you know is once you're in there, there's a little following or follow in this little yellow box. If you click on that, every time we add a new class, it's going to send you an email and say, hey, over at Stamp Happy Academy, they just added a new class. Or um, there's something has been added, go check it out. Right now, Barb has a Dragonfly Garden class to go in the um, classes that you get for free. So the other thing I wanted to mention is you guys know that I do online classes every month. I also do a kit class. The PDFs for all of these are going to be housed on the Stamp Happy Academy website. However, if you want the product bundles with them, the pre-cut cardstock pack, the ribbon, the embellishments, the whatever else is included in the kit, you need to go to each of our blogs to order it. That is still going to, that's separate. It's not, the cardstock is not included. We're not going to cut pre-cut cardstock for these kits. Um, for your membership, but you are certainly welcome to continue to order those as usual. Okay, next up, I told you Danny's getting this for promoting to silver. And by the way, congratulations, Danny. That's really cool. Danny is a team member of mine, so I wanted to show you. Now, this this particular um, bundle, and I thought since we're getting close to Valentine's Day, this would be a good one to check out, right? Um, Hang on, I got some tabs here to help me figure out where I'm at. The Love You Always bundle is on page 10, 11, 12, and 13. Um, the Love You Always Sweet. So we've got all of these beautiful products, plus we've got two bundles in here. And you can get one or the other or both. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about is you can order the entire suite right here. Now, this suite with all of these products is $162. When you order that, you do not want to use the host code because you're going to get some stamp and rewards. You're going to get at least $15 free or actually $16.20 free if you order this suite. That's number one. Number two, you're going to get three celebration items of your choice or you can get a level two, which is $100 and a level one. Your choice, but you qualify for three level ones or a level two and a level one. Anyways, it's a pretty, it's a beautiful, beautiful suite. This is the love or always in my heart bundle that comes with these gorgeous, gorgeous dies. And don't you just love that? I have to show you this card. This is made with the um, always in my heart bundle. And can you see the um, um, wink of Stella that's on the heart here? This beautiful card was made with this. And this was made by my team member, one of my team members, Sarah Simon. And I absolutely love this. And it's like a little book. Happy anniversary. Here's to another year of happily ever after. Isn't that nice? Look at how pretty that is. I love that. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I think this one. Yep. This one is also made with this bundle. I think this is made by, yep. One of my team members, Kathy Miller, and isn't this just gorgeous? Sahara Sand is the coordinating color with this um, suite of products. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Then, so Danny, I'm giving you some really great ideas. Next up, we have this beautiful card, again, made with this and the black and white paper that is part of this whole suite. Isn't that pretty? Kathy, I think this is Kathy, yep, Kathy Miller. Kathy used the um, Settles embossing folder on the white layer here. I don't know if you can really see that. I'm going to turn on another light here, so hang on. Uh, did that, oh, it's not shining down at my projects. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not, you guys, but it's so, so pretty. And here's one of those little heart charms. Those are really cute. They're very low profile, so they won't make any bulk in your envelopes. 
but what a beautiful, beautiful card, right? Now this ribbon is included with my fine art kit. This is the ribbon that I um, chose to include in my fine art kit. And we'll talk about that in a little bit after we do some stamping. Okay, next is the Forever and Always bundle of product. Look at this gorgeous card. Is that not pretty? Yeah. And this again is the black and white paper that's part of this suite. Very, very pretty. And this is from my team member, Kathy Miller, All also. Oh, and uh, Carol says, the Love You Always Sweet is on back order until March 1st. Oh, well, thank you for letting me know that. I didn't realize that. But I'll bet you there's just like one item in the suite that isn't available now. So you could order all the other items. Try that if you really want to get this because I bet you it'll let you order. Does anybody know what exactly is on back order? Because I don't remember. Stamps are going up 45 cents. Yep, they're going to make a fortune off us, aren't they, Sylvia? Here's another one. And again, this is from Kathy Miller. Look at how pretty that is with that beautiful foil paper. Let me grab that. We're going to be using this on one of our cards tonight. But here's the Love You Always Specialty Designer Series paper. And then here's that beautiful, the beautiful foil sheet. So, so pretty. And that's what... This is cut out of black behind it. And of course the die, that's what the dies do. They cut out the big black background and then the more detailed word, which is super, super pretty. Um, okay, thank you very much, Sylvia, for giving us that update. But so pretty, you guys. So I just wanted to share these with you. They are beautiful for wedding. You could also use them for... Um, Valentine's Day, but look at you had me at hello. So how sweet is that, right? Very, very cute. Very nice card. Love you so much. This can be used any time of year. Happy anniversary. I have some very talented stampers on my team, that's for sure. So Danny, this is coming your way in the mail, girl. I know you're going to love it. Let me set that back there with my other stuff to mail. Okay. Oh, and then I almost forgot this. This is one of the boxes. So let's go back to this. I showed this to you guys. This is one of the Love You Always treat boxes. It has a little um, slide out like a match box. And I don't know what happened to the inside of mine, but it's gone. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. But anyways, this is really pretty. This is something that I got at a demonstrator event that I went to in January. And again, with the black and white paper, the beautiful ribbon. Yeah, very, very cute, right? And those, those fun little heart charms. I love this. Okay, so let's keep going here. What are you guys drinking tonight? I am drinking my strawberry lemonade, of course, because you know what a creature of habit I am. Oh, this weekend, what did I have? I had one drink at Anna's place. It was orange juice and some type of flavored orange flavored rum that made it taste like a dream sickle. Oh, it was really good. But as you well know, it was probably extremely high calorie and very fattening. <laughs> okay. Hearts and kisses is what I'm planning on using. Can you guys see that? Okay. I hate it when it does a glare off the lights. So we're going to be using the hearts and kisses. And this card is not a Valentine's card. It certainly could be. I think we're going to make it a happy Galentine's Day card because I think that's really funny. And if you guys missed my explanation of Galentine's, it is the day before Valentine's. Did you guys know that I had that upside down? I did not. <laughs> um, it's the day before Valentine's Day and it's for your girlfriends. So this is such a cool little set and I love that I, I thought Stampin' Up! spelled it wrong. I'm like, why did they, that does not look like an, a V at all. What did they do? Does anybody, has anybody noticed this? But then I asked somebody and they're like, no, it's a thing. It's a Galentine's Day is for your girlfriends. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, I am going to be using Memento Ink and Blushing Bride, Rich Razzleberry and Rococo Rose. And you guys know that you can always find these, um, all the ingredients that I use for these cards on my blog, you got to give me a little time when we're done tonight, and I put them all on there. And 
you can just go there and see, oh, these are all the colors she used, or these are the tools, or what did she call that punch? It's all going to be there. The other great thing about it is that you, if you would need to order something, like you want to order the hearts and kisses with the super sweet little um, kiss punch, it'll, you, when you click on the item on my blog, it'll take you right to my store, right to these products. You can add them right to your cart. Super simple. Spend a lot. Get yourself some celebration stuff. Did you catch that? Spend a lot. Get yourself some celebration stuff. Hi, Dan Trout. I hope you're doing well tonight. I always like it that you pop in here. Dan Trout was a um, neighbor of ours when I was a kid. And we have reconnected um, through Facebook. And so it's kind of cool because we I moved away when I was... Um, I think 15 years old and you know now you know how old I am so it's been between then and a, just a couple years ago that reconnected through Facebook so I think that's really cool okay I am going to bring out my cardstock so I've got Rococo Rose which is a, of course one of the um, coordinating colors with this suite of products let me get all my little bits and pieces out. I've got a bunch of cards to, sh not a bunch, but I've got several cards to share with you using this bundle too. So make sure you stay around for that. We're going to be using this beautiful Rococo Rose. Um, let's see, is this, this is not the Rococo Rose. It's the Blushing Bride. So this is the Blushing Bride. The Rococo Rose is a little bit darker and then we have the Champagne, their silver color. It looks like Champagne. I really like it. Then I've got an envelope. I have, let's see, I have two pieces of four by five and a quarter cardstock. And then I have, oh, look at that. That's okay. <laughs> One piece that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Oh, look at that one's got writing on the back of it too. That's okay, because nobody's ever gonna know that I recycled these. I've also got two little tiny layers that are three quarters by three and a half. Um, there should be one more layer of paper in here somewhere. Oh, um, hang on. I'm missing a piece. We might have to cut something, you guys. I think I forgot it, but I do have it written down. We've got, this is just a strip of the foil paper that is... Um, about five eighths of an inch and it was just a scrap so I thought well, geez I can sure do something with that can I let me get out my paper trimmer here we're gonna have to make a little piece of cardstock oh look here's some more I, I recycled these from my DSP samplers and this piece is gonna be two is this gonna be four and a half yep two and a quarter by oops by four and a half I wonder I forgot that who knows, right? Okay. So you need that too. Yep, that's going to fit right on here. Let me look at that and make sure that it's... Yep, that looks good. Okay, here we go. Time to start having some inky fun. Oh, Gladys is on here from Puerto Rico. Welcome, Gladys. I wish I was in Puerto Rico instead of four inches of snow in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. I gotta grab a piece of paper. Now, in the um, catalog kickoff, that's part of you know the basic membership for Stamp Happy Academy, I made a card using the same background I'm gonna do for you tonight. So, um, we're gonna do that on here and also on our envelope flap. So I'm going to take my, just a printer weight piece of paper and I'm gonna tuck my envelope in here and then fold this over so that I can just stamp on the flap and not get anything on the rest of my envelope. I do this a lot. All right, here we go. Where's my stamp set? Right here. Let me get this out of the way. We've got Blushing Bride. I already told you this. Rich Razzleberry. Rococo Rose. Oh my goodness, you guys. I see we have over 600 people watching live. That is crazy and can I just take a moment and say thank you so much this is crazy I know I remember the very first Facebook live that I ever did and I I think I had a hundred people watching me and I was just incredibly humbled and over the moon and shocked that 
that so many people were watching me live and now right now so wow that's awesome okay we are using the smaller piece so remember we've got two four by five and a quarter this one I like to kind of do this as a little bit smaller so that's the smaller piece and we are going to start our little stamping here okay uh, this is our blushing bride the blushing bride is going to get this little swoosh and what's cool about this is while you can use it I'm going to use it just as a background you can also use it for the lipstick like it looks like somebody scribbled with lipstick I think that makes it really fun so I'm just going to stamp this randomly all over this layer and it gets pretty busy okay so next up I am going to bring in da, 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 my hearts and we're going to use Rococo Rose for the hearts. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the Rich Razzleberry with the lips. And I just love this color combo. Look at how pretty that is. And these lips are um, using that type of um, way to make the rubber stamps that makes them look real. They look, they're just so defined. And again, Lots of random stamps on here with the lips. Isn't that cool? Now we can fill in as needed, so don't worry. You can always come back and add some more. And now I'm going to come into the white spots and add these cute little hearts. Okay, I don't know if that's enough or not, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Now I'm going to come in with some black. And I'm going to add the XOXO and sweet story. My grandmas used to always sign their letters to me with XXXOOO and that's hugs and kisses. And this stamp set made me think of that. And both my grandmas are gone now, but it was just really like, oh, it's like grandma did, right? Okay, so what do you think? Pretty cool, right? The middle part, we're not going to worry about, well... You know what, maybe I'm gonna put another lip, a set of lips right there. We'll see if it even matters. But isn't that cute? Okay, now, we're gonna do that to our envelope flap also. And where did that, here we go. Let's bring our Rococo Rose, or our uh, Blushing Bride. This is a Blushing Bride. And I'm just going to stamp this around. There we go. And then, you always wanna do your biggest images first and then you kind of fill in and oh Linda says her grandma used to put that in her letters too I know right you always did the hugs and kisses okay now I'm gonna come in this is really dangerous having all of these open in front of me right so I'll move them off out of the way there we go and then we're gonna come in with the Rococo and the hearts and just fill these in kind of all over. Now this is a technique. This is called collage stamping, where you're just stamping a whole bunch of different images. So here's your wonderful collage for the month, or I mean technique for the night, not the month. Don't worry, I'll show you some more techniques. I love techniques. And now we're gonna do the X's and the O's. Okay, that looks fantastic. I'm just gonna close some of these up. Um, we're gonna be using the Rich Razzleberry again very soon. Okay, now where did our this? Here's our layer. We'll set our envelope aside. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece that was two and a quarter by four and a half. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. Loves the envelope flap stamped. I know, right? Isn't and it's so simple. You're not. It's not costing you anything, right? Thank you guys so much for all the hearts. I love that. But it's not costing to do that. So why not? Okay. Next up is this little piece, two and a quarter by four and a half. And what we're gonna do? Oh, I need a little scrap too. Let me grab a little scrap of Whisper White or Basic White. I'll get used to that someday. Um. And I am going to get my lips 
and I'm going to stamp one right here and then, whoops, I see I got some hair there. I'm gonna stamp one right here and another one. I'm gonna stand up, make sure I get this evened out. That looks pretty good. Then we're gonna punch the one that I put on the scrap of white. See if I can get it lined up. Maybe we're gonna punch it. This one we're gonna put some dimensionals on. Oh, and I got a fresh sheet of dimensionals. Don't you love that? <laughs> it's almost like having a fresh bottle of glue. Oh, love it. Some brand new mini glue dots. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this little strip. This was um, three quarters by three and a half, and we're going to stamp the sealed with a kiss. And I think I am going to, mm, oh, I don't know if I should do it with the Rococo Rose. How about we do it with either one and we'll see which one we like better. You guys can tell me which one you like better. So let me get up here and it's kind of crooked. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to do it with that color. That's for Coco. And then I'm gonna come in and do it with the Rich Razzleberry because just in case I messed up, I had two of them here. You guys know that I do stuff like that, right? <laughs> like I have my little saving grace hidden over in the corner. It's like, oh, if I mess this up, I can just keep rolling along. Ooh, that looks really straight. That's great. Okay, now I'm gonna close this. Oh, I know, we still need to do something to our inside layer. Remember, we've got two pieces that are four by five and a quarter. This piece, well, let me see. Do I want to use a punch on this? That's what I'm questioning right here. Hang on, let me see if I can. Oh, that's not the one that I would want. Can I pick a punch maybe? Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so I've got the um, banner pick a punch, and I'm going to use the one that does the little. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna fit in there nicely. I'm gonna turn that over so I can see on the back if I'm cutting off my words. I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit so I'm not taking so much off the end. That looks great. Let's try that again. Make sure you got it in the right side. I love this punch. I use this just as much as I use my. Um, banner triple punch that only has the one size on it. Well, it has, uh, now I just lied. Um, it has the three things on it, right? But this one is smaller. It goes half inch, three quarter, and one. And this goes one, two, and I think three, or one, one and a half, let me see. One, one and a half, and two inches. And then this one punches out two different ones that are half inch, three quarter, and one inch. So. Um, they are very different. Put that back. Okay. Next. Um, Robin says her mom has some ink pads that are bubbly on the top. And what I want to know, is the ink bubbly? Is that what you're talking about? If that's the case, you need to take like a paper towel and get some of that ink out of there. You've got too much ink in them. And I think that's what you're talking about. Did anyone else get video ended? I am still rolling here. I am. I have not ended. So, sorry. Uh, um, but maybe you guys are seeing something different. Okay, so we've got this. Now we're going to take this little bugger and I'm going to grab some of that beautiful metallic ribbon. And this is the Blushing Bride Metallic Ribbon. And we're going to keep the pretty shiny side out here. And I'm going to add this to the back of this little label. Just hang on a second. And we're going to leave enough off the end so we can cut it the way that we need to. Hang on. Let's see if I got it straight. Uh, where'd my dimensionals go? Does it, here they are. I think I'll just use a piece of tape first and then we'll put some dimensionals on. See what that looks like. Oh, very crooked. Nice job, Kel. Huh? So put your tape on the back of your ribbon and then 
bring your little label in just like this so you can get it on there straight. That's going to be much more successful than what I just did. Okay, here comes my scissors, and I am going to cut this right up to the edge of my banner on both ends. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now we're going to grab our dimensionals. And we're going to keep this ribbon in place. I just want to turn it over and make sure we're still looking good here. Yep. You don't want to put your dimensionals too close to the end either because these are going to go right on here. Okay. Um, I think this one is too close to the end. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. I'll get rid of that. I'll try another one here. Oops, not two. Trying to hitchhike. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now, we are going to take this and we're going to add it to our foil. And I used to always use a tape runner to add stuff to foil, but I found that this liquid glue really does work um, just about on every single surface. You just have to hold it here for a bit to let it, you know, do its thing. Okay, and I'm missing the ink pad. If you want to message me, um, I'm missing some of your responses about the ink pads. But if you want to message me, I would be happy to work with you on that. We'll get it figured out. Okay, here we go. We're coming in. We're going to add this layer to my white layer. And this white layer is just like a sixteenth of an inch border all around the sides. And it, you can't really see it too much here, but wait. When we put it on here, holy cow, it really, really makes this, this stamped layer pop. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that, that little tiny white margin in there. That's a way to really dress up your card. Okay, so I should have asked you guys, which, which one do you like better here? I think I like this one. I'm going to go with this one. I'm sorry. I never gave you the chance to tell me because I forget a lot. So, here we go, and we're also going to put this layer on some dimensionals, and get a lot of support on here. Thank you guys so much for the hearts, and here we go. Yeah, I'm seeing that you guys are talking about the bumpy, um, the bumpiness of your ink pads. If you're having problems with those, please. They really do stand up in your products. And if there's some type of an issue, I'm not having any issue. If there's some type of an issue, they work through it with you. I love our um, demonstrator customer support. They are just amazing. Okay, so here goes this layer. And now we're going to put this little bugger on here. Whoops, let's keep my looking kind of naked there. And where did, here comes our little lips. We're going to kind of put these on here and fit them all on here together. And here we go. This is going to go here. And this one's going to go here. Okay, what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Yeah, okay. Then we've still got the inside layer. So I thought what we'd do for that is I'm going to, oops, hang on. I get a piece of, anybody else shedding a lot? I've been shedding so much. Oh, thank you guys so much. You see all the hearts coming in. Here comes our happy Galentine's Day. How sweet is that? And then I think what we'll do, hmm, I think what we'll do is we'll take some of the Rococo or the, oh no, I want the Blushing Bride. I want the lightest one with the little lipstick swoosh. And I'm going to put that right there. And what else can I do here? I know. Hang on. 
I'm going to grab a little piece of rich razzleberry, just a little scrappy thing. Oh, for Pete's sakes, I got all these tags. I don't know what those are for. <laughs> Something went wrong. And I think what I'll do is I'll just put that right there. Won't that be cute? Yeah. I could put it right here. What do you guys think? Should I put it here or should I put it down here for the inside? Oh, wait. I want to wait and see what you guys have to say. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to just leave that sit there. I'll get this glued in. Should I put it by the, the heart by the sentiment or should I put it by in the bottom right hand corner? You guys get to pick it. Uh, thank you, Louise from Anaheim, California. Louise says she loves my videos. Thank you so much. Okay, what are we hearing? Where are we going to put the heart? Uh, thank you, Margarita. She says that she really likes this card. Up, up, up here. I see lots of ups here. Bottom. We got about one more. Let's see. Come on, one more person. Closer to the sentiment. Three for that. Either way would have looked fantastic. But look at how stinking cute that is. Right? I love it. I can't wait to send this out to one of my because they're going to just get a big giggle out of it. So anytime we have a reason to send a card, we send a card, right? And I know that I've heard from people when I'm going to be featuring a Valentine's card. Oh, well, I don't have a husband or I don't have a boyfriend or I don't have a girlfriend or whatever. And I'm not, I don't make Valentine cards. Well, that's fine. But if you're a card maker, you should be making cards for everything. That's just my personal opinion, and I'm entitled to it. And you're entitled to not listen to it. <laughs> but I'm like, I send Valentine cards to my family. I send it um, to my friends. I don't care who it is. I will send a Valentine card. And if there's a reason to send a card and you're a card maker, you be making some cards, guys. Make some cards and send them out. It's what we do, and that little card brightens someone's day so much, especially decorate your envelopes. When they see that coming in their mailbox, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to open it, right? Yeah. Send the cards. Make people happy. Gosh, we know we need a little extra happiness right now, right? This is the way to do it. Okay, next up. Oh, I'm going to show you some more cards. Oh, I have to tell you where I got this layout. This layout came to me from Sandy Carlson, and I used the exact same layout. This was a swap card. I just changed the background to look more like a swap card that I got from my friend Lori. So that's how we mix and match all this stuff. And I just thought that this would look really good. I didn't know for sure because I hadn't made this yet, but I did love this one. And this is the um, hydrangea paper, I believe that she used on here, which is also very, very pretty. Okay, then I have some more cards using this stamp set. And this one looks like a little tuxedo. Isn't that cute with the red lapel? And this is one of our um, dies that has a whole bunch of words in it. There you go. Oh, and Renee says she doesn't send a lot of cards, but she makes hundreds for her daughter to send. That's awesome, right? That's what it's all about. Here's another one that I thought was super cute. This uses our heart punch and our scallop heart punch. Isn't that cute? Watch, are you ready? Wait for it, wait for it. Bah! How cool is that? I love this. Oh, thank you, Sue. Thank you very much for your comments, you guys. Here's another one. This uses Sahara Sand, some of that black and white paper from the Love You Always Suite, a little bit of the Love You Always Specialty. This is um, Sahara Sand and some of our black dots. This one doesn't have on anything on the inside. And again, these are swap cards. I did not make these. <gasps> this is one of my favorites. Isn't that cool? Look at all that beautiful foil paper and look at the inside. What a cute little thing. The lipstick with the heart on top made punched out of the foil. We've got the You Go Girl. And one last one. Look at how cute this is. Sealed with a kiss. And again, this one she stamped on the foil. 
with the um, spacing will dry on foil paper. So that's what she did here. And here's our inside. Super, super cute. So there we go. Now I'm going to get some of this stuff out of my way so I can bring in the next cards. I think you're going to love these too. Did I guys, did I tell you guys that I want to do a game night where we're going to play like a, a type of a bingo game? I was going to do something with this and I didn't. What could I have done with it? I could have, should I put a little foil in here or just leave it? What do you think? You guys let me know while I get my next card ready. I completely forgot about this little scrap that I had. I'll just leave that right there. Wait to hear what you guys have to say. Oops, hang on. Things are falling. Thank goodness it's not my crown. There we go. Okay. Next up, we have... Uh, black dots are on back order. Okay, good to know. Thank you for telling me that, Deborah. All of this stuff is so popular. It's been in very high demand. Okay, so you guys, just so you know, this is how a game night works. And anybody can watch game night. But if you want to play, we play a game similar to bingo. And you pay. So I'll have a PayPal button where you pay. And the payment gives um, out all the prizes, all the gifts, all the fun stuff. You're going to get a pre-cut cardstock pack for the cards that I'm making. Um, I'm not really sure how many cards I'm going to make right now. I think probably five, but you'll get product. I, I think I haven't figured out the details yet, but anyways, this is how it goes. Anybody can watch it. I'm going to be demonstrating cards and then we play the game, demonstrate a card, play the game. And then, um, when it's over, uh, when each each game at each game somebody wins and I'll show you what the prizes are the people get to pick it's a live thing and it's something that we're going to do live on YouTube because there's such a lag in the time between me talking and what I see or you guys see on your screen we can't play um, the game night on Facebook we have to do it on YouTube live because YouTube live there's no delay so I just want to let you guys know that Watch for that coming out soon. Um, I see that a lot of you guys are saying leave it off. Some are saying yes. Some are saying no foil, no foil. I think I'm going to leave it off. We won't do the foil this time, but I'll save that because I'll use it for something else. So anyways, with the game night coming, I haven't gotten the, all the details together for it, and I need to do that. I will do that probably in the next couple days, the game night. So I think you guys will really have a lot of fun with it. And even if you don't, pay and play for prizes you can still watch so how much will it cost about $35 Renee and again the prizes are great you get a make and take packet in the mail there will be fun stuff with it you I think you'll really enjoy it okay next up we have some pretty pretty flower cards we are going to be using the fine art floral I've got a couple cards to make in different variations. We're going to be using, oh, I got to get this out. I forgot I had this in here. These are the curvy dies that go with the curvy die stamp set. But these curvy border dies are so cool. I love them. That's what we're going to be using on this card. I've got some of the braided linen trim. All of my stamps, some of the gold um, glitter dots, and my stamp set, which is, hang on, let me move this stuff out of the way before things start crashing to the ground. <laughs> we don't want anything crashing to the ground. We're going to use the Fine Art Floral, the Art Gallery stamp set, and the Happy Thoughts. This is in the um, JJ Mini catalog. It is just beautiful fonts. This was made by my friend Jackie Bullheis for her million dollar stamp set. Beautiful fonts and really, really great, nice sentiments. I love them. Jennifer loves the curvy dies. I do too, Jennifer. They are so... I, I am a sucker for a border die every single time. I love it. Yeah, and Jackie's saying that you don't have the sound problems on YouTube like I do here on Facebook. And you are absolutely right. I think YouTube is a more uh, stable platform than Facebook. We seem to have a ton of problems with Facebook. 
And I'm probably going to be moving these lives on Sunday night over to YouTube too at some point. I had just never done a YouTube until I had to do the JJ Catalog kickoff on YouTube Live. So I wasn't sure what I was doing and you know how you don't want to ever do anything to change stuff. You know how we are. And it was so simple. There's just nothing to it. So what would happen if I do switch to YouTube Live, I will um, post a graphic on my Facebook page right where you guys are saying, here's the link to the YouTube Live. See me there at 7 o'clock. So the only difference is, is that probably a lot of you get an alert that comes up on your phone and it tells you, Kelly's live right now. Well, that's not going to happen if I'm not live on Facebook, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to be responsible and set your alarm to come see me at seven o'clock. Okay. And um, somebody else just asked me a question. Where did it go? Um... How many people? Is there a limit to the amount of people that can play? No, there isn't. Any number of people can play. Of course, the uh, less people that play, the better your odds of winning. Also, just so you know, the prizes are going to be based on the amount of people that are participating. So if we have a, a ton of people playing bingo, your prizes are going to be much bigger. If we have less people playing bingo, the prizes are going to have to be smaller because, you know, with more people, you have more money coming in. With less, you have less and more less. You get more, you don't get more. <laughs> you guys know how it works. <laughs> okay, I am going to get ready to make this super pretty card. I think you guys are really going to like this. Now, this is another swap card that I got. And I have to tell you, the reason why I swap is to get ideas. And I really utilize those for tonight. This is our basic white cardstock. It's the thick. It is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. Cindy Kittner says you can get an alert from YouTube too whenever you go live. There you go. I think you have to go to my YouTube channel and you have to click on the little bell and that will give you notifications when I go live. So what you guys do, I'll put a link to my YouTube channel on Facebook when we're done on this group and you click on that link, you're gonna head over to YouTube and there's a little bell under a video. You just click to get notifications. It's pretty simple. Okay, next up. We have a piece of Poppy Parade. This is four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of um, Whisper or Basic White. This is three and a half by eight and a half. Then we're gonna be using the beautiful Fine Art Floral Paper. Now, you guys remember, this is my kit class for the month of January. And if you want to buy the kit from me, it is $55. It includes the gold glitter enamel dots. It also includes a roll of the beautiful fine art ribbon. Is that what this is called? Let me make sure. Oh, this is blushing bride ribbon. Oh, no, it's a different, it's a different ribbon. It's not that ribbon. Um, let me grab that ribbon. I've got it right here. Here we go. It's still blingy and pretty. Fine art ribbon is included as well as the painted texture embossing folder and a pre-cut cardstock pack of eight cards. You get to make four different designs and you'll be making two of each. So that's what's in my fine art floral kit and it's $55. You can add on the, the gilded leafing and the heat and stick powder for an additional $17. You can add on the stamp set and the dies for an additional $58. You get to pick and choose what you want. There's a form on my blog that you can fill out to order this kit. I am going to be ordering everything for it soon. It is going to be going out in the mail uh, next week. So just so you know, what the time frame is. This is a pre-order. I get all the numbers in and then I figure out how much I need to order and then I go about ordering it and then start cutting and packaging and putting it all together. So $55 for this kit. Plus you're gonna have some extra ideas because we're using the stamp set and the paper tonight. Okay, next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this layer and the little polka dotty die right here. We're gonna take that now, when you're using this, you have to be careful because if you look at it, one side doesn't have a cutting edge on it. 
this side no cutting edge, that side has a cutting edge, and we want the cutting edge to be down or right here when we're doing our, um, our cutting. So I'm gonna put that on here. This is gonna be about one and a quarter inches down, and it's gonna come just like this, okay? And if you wanted to, what you could probably do is stamp your sediment, sentiment on this layer first before you um, die cut it, but I'm, I've already die cut mine, so you would run it through your die cutting machine, and I have one right here. Then what we're gonna do is I'm going to take my Poppy Parade ink, and then I have to decide which one of these sentiments should I use. Um, I think I want to go with the Happy Birthday. So I'm gonna take my Happy Birthday, and I'm going to stamp that right here. Ooh, I love the vibrance with um, Poppy Parade. And then I'm going to grab the sentiment. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. Uh, here it is. Today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are, the great things that you do. Yay, happy birthday. Okay, we're gonna take that and we're gonna stamp it on the inside of our card. Again, using the Poppy Parade ink. And try really, really hard not to mess it up. <laughs> I was sweating it. Then we're gonna take the beautiful floral stamp that is part of the Fine Art stamp set. And we're going to stamp that right down here. Just like that, isn't that pretty? I love this one. We're gonna need to clean this off because we're gonna use it again. And then we're gonna take this little detailed one and we're gonna stamp over each one of these flowers. And I know this is really hard to see in the camera, but trust me when I say, it just adds some depth to these flowers with the darker um, little lines. Okay, we're gonna clean that off. Let me get this out of the way. And I'm gonna clean this as long as I'm cleaning. If you guys don't have a chamois for cleaning your stamps, this thing is fabulous. I absolutely love it. The other thing I wanted to mention too is if I have anybody out there watching me that does not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business and I would be happy to send you our current catalogs. I know you'll just love them. Okay, so here we go with this. Let me um, set this back over here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our paper trimmer. Get all my little bits and pieces out of it. You guys work in about a 10 inch area at your house too? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take this piece of the designer series paper. And this piece, by the way, is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we're gonna cut off three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna go up to three quarters. Debbie says she's so happy to catch part of my live. Well, I'm so happy you're here. So we've got this, this is going on, okay? And you wanna make sure that, well, I guess it doesn't matter, Never mind. I was gonna say something about making sure your flowers are right side up, but it doesn't make any difference. Um, it, it might, but I don't, I don't think you're gonna notice it too much here. But if you're anal like me, you want your flowers right side up. So you're gonna cut the little piece of three quarter inch off the top. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna add it to our Poppy Parade just like this. We're gonna look at that bottom margin, side margin, side margin to get this lined up in the center at the bottom. And I love it, this paper does the work for you. It's just as beautiful as the um, Poppy paper that we had last year at this time, I think. I mean, I'm, I'm really, I really, really love it. Then we're gonna bring this little piece in here and we're gonna take this and we're going to attach it to the top right here. So this is really different. And this idea came to me on a swap card from um, one of my Stampin' Up! friends, Wendy Lee. And I just thought it was so unique. I'm like, oh, I have to do this for Facebook Live, but I wanted to make cards in different colors or whatever. And so I think I accomplished it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take the uh, uh, braided trim. 
And I'm going to add this right to this layer before I attach anything else to my card. And I like to use my tape to do that. Bring that in here. And yes, for those of you that may have missed it, I am completely out of Amish tape, so you will not get to hear me whine about it anymore. And I know for some of you, that's going to make you sad, not hearing the Amish stories. For others, you're going to be like, oh, for the love of, thank goodness she's out of that stinking tape. <laughs> it was horrible. See, there I am. I'm whining about it again. I don't even own it anymore, and I'm still whining about the Amish tape. And for those of you that are new, don't get me wrong, I love Amish people, but the tape that I bought at their store was horrendous. That's why it was so cheap. <laughs> okay, there we go. I just tied another little piece on there. Now, we're going to take our dimensionals, and we are going to pop this layer up. And I think... This will be fine. Then we're going to take dimensionals and we're going to pop this layer up too. So we got a lot of dimensiony things going on. Oh, shoot. That's dumb. <laughs> um, I just threw that on there because I pulled it off. Five would actually work fine. Okay, now while I'm pulling these all off, I want to know what did you guys have for supper tonight? I had Haley and Jared over for breakfast and baby Val who was sleeping and I do not like that. <laughs> Haley walks in the door she goes oh she's not fun she's not gonna be fun today mom. <laughs> I'm like nope she's not. Okay this is gonna go on here but she woke up so that was good and then we did have fun with her. But I had um, Haley and Jared over for breakfast and I made homemade buttermilk pancakes and bacon and that was delightful. And they didn't stay that long because they had to get home because they had a Packer party to go to at his parents' house. And so as soon as they left, I cleaned up the kitchen and went to bed. And I didn't get up till, I think, 1 o'clock. So that's why I'm like, oh, I'm so perky. I'm ready to roll. Okay, now you have to make sure when you put this on here that you're matching it up with the designer series paper. What do you think of that? Is that not the coolest thing ever? Ooh, I see butter, chicken, and sticky rice. Oh, that makes me hungry. So anyways, that was breakfast. Supper, um, we brought home our leftover steak from going to Anna's house. So um, we had steak and I made um, some cheesy hash brown potatoes. That's what we had. Beautiful. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I got an envelope someplace right here. And you could definitely use the designer series paper on the flap or let's do this. I should have cleaned my stamp already. Let's do this. I'm going to do this on my envelope. This is just so, so pretty. I love this little image. And let's put a few of these on here too. I didn't get, I didn't get these inked up very good but it's not gonna matter because now we just covered it up with that. And that's why I didn't go, oh, I messed it up. Because most of the time there's a way to fix stuff, right? So here we go. Here's this one. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, never buy cheap tape, Terry says. Hi, Terry Sampson. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was really pretty too, you guys. So next up, yeah, we're not done yet. You hang in there. Hang in there with me. We've got some more fun to have. Next up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set these over here. I am going to do the same thing. This is going to be the same card, only different colors. And I think you're going to absolutely love this too. So instead of doing a birthday card this time, I think I will do a thank you card. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to use um, Pool Party ink. Let's see how dark that's going to be. Hmm. I see I got edges. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to try the pool party. We're going to see how it goes. Looks good. We're doing good. Okay, then here's our card base. And we are going to burnish that edge good. And I am going to stamp some pool party. And I'm going to show you a tone on tone or a two, two color two-step stamping here for this one. 
So there is our pool party. And now I'm gonna come in with this little one using the pretty peacock. Ooh, look at how different that looks. Isn't that pretty? Yes, you can definitely stamp flowers like that with this fine art set too. I love two-step stamping. It is so fun and you can do so many different things with it. And now I am going to take the sentiment from the same stamp set. This is the same Happy Thoughts. And we put uh, thank you on the front, right? We're going to do the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. And I love the sentiment too. Just some really good sentiments in this stamp set. Look how pretty that is. You see I got edges on it. Meh. It's okay. They're pretty light. I think we'll be all right. Okay, next. We are going to because you're getting a double whammy on this one and cut off three quarters of an inch just like that we're going to glue our three quarters of an inch right up here to the top yay where's Debbie going I missed it Debbie must have had to leave you guys know that no matter how hard I try to see all your comments it's pretty much impossible but I do appreciate them and I do catch a lot of them but just in case you I just know that I'm never ignoring you it's that the comments scroll by so fast and I only have about well on my iPad it's about this big to watch them scroll by and so it's pretty tricky but if you ever have a question and I don't see it please feel free to email me at kelly at a stamp com. my first name is spelled k-e-l-l-y at a stampabove.com and I will be happy to answer your questions but like it's kind of impossible oftentimes for me to answer on here because there's just a lot going on first of all I have to think <laughs> that's just tricky all by itself and then um, I have to see it and I have to stamp at the same time and oh lord right a lot. Life, life stamping is, I love life, life stamping, but it can be a little tricky. Oh, did you see? I thought I ruined it, but I didn't. Okay, let me get this out of here. There we go. I want to be able to see the tails there. Oh, isn't that just so pretty? I just love this. Wendy did a really good job. And when we're done making this card, I'll show you the one that I got from her and how she made it. Because I think it's pretty neat too. It's a little different. I'm using her layout, but I like what she did also. Okay, here we go. Oops, we gotta put this on here first. This is what's left over after you cut that little strip off. And remember, this was three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then we cut, oh, my flower's upside down. I don't know if it matters. Then we cut um, three quarters of an inch off the top of this piece right up here. Okay, so I'm gonna get this straight. Okay, here comes this one. I gotta stand up, get over top of this so I can make sure I'm getting it on here even. You might wanna wiggle your butt a little bit just for some extra charm. Oh, I love it. And then, remember this is our inside. We're gonna throw this right on the front. Oh, we're gonna use some dimensionals for this too. I just think it looks really cool. I don't do that a lot where I put the front layer on with dimensionals, but this one looks really nice. And take your pick tool, make short order of all these little backing things. Here we go. Yay! And we have our dots. And I'm going to put some of those on here. Put one right down here. Uh, maybe one over here. And then a little smaller one right there. That looks nice. Oh, where's our envelope? Hello. We need to do some envelope things. I'm going to do the pool party right here. And... We'll do these little deals on here too. 
Who is not going to love opening up their mailbox and seeing this little beauty, right? Oh my goodness. So there's card number two. Or three, I should say. Here is, whoops, hang on. Let me get all this stuff out of the way before I have a disaster. Here is the other one. Where did my other stuff go? Oh, I made this one too. This is different paper. So I guess I do have three of them here. Do I have an envelope for this one? I don't. I need to make an envelope for that one. But isn't that pretty? Just wanted to send some happy thoughts. And here is the third one that I made. Love it. With the poppy parade. Now, where did Wendy's card go? Hang on. Um, uh, here it is. Now, this is really a little different. Um, it's the same. Look at how... Hers is vanilla, and instead of using designer paper here, she'd used the stamp from the fine art that we used on the inside with Misty Moonlight and vanilla. And then this is that free celebration set that you can get. Sorry for your loss. Wishing I could heal your heart. Isn't that pretty? And she used linen thread, so I just thought that was really pretty too. <gasps> what do you guys think? I love these. I know. I know, right? Oh. And that's why I swap, <laughs> because I get all these amazing ideas from demonstrators all over the country, and we share our ideas. Again, this is Happy Thoughts, Fine Art Floral, Art Gallery. And my dies are the curvy dies. They go with the curvy stamp set, but you can get the dies by themselves. They're pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to put these back in here so I don't lose them. Now, I've got a whole bunch of cards to share with you guys. Let me see. Yep, I just pulled a bunch more out so that I could... Because I've got so many swap cards that I'm like, oh, I need to start showing you guys all these swap cards. Okay, put these over here. Let me just pick up just a tiny bit so that I have room. See, look, now it's not just 10 inches. Ooh, that sounded a little bit like not a family show, didn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. Okay, just keeping it light. All right, next up, I wanted to... Oh, where did I put those ones up? Oh, here they are. Like, that's not what I was going to show you. This is what I was going to show you. Ah! This is our free designer series paper. This is called Paper Blooms. It is free in the celebration brochure when you place a $50 order. Now, some people I've heard say, well, I don't, I'm not going to place a $50 order. Just get a pack of paper free. No, no, no. If you're going to order it, like, I'm going to order supplies, and if my supplies reach $50, this is a bonus on top of it. Lots of times, you're placing $50 orders, and you don't get anything extra. During celebration, you get a whole pack of designer series paper, or anything in this catalog. But here are all the really cute ideas that Stampin' Up! has shared with us using the Paper Blooms designer series paper. Now, if you want tons of this paper, you order $100, you can get two of them. So, there you go. Look at this pretty card. Oh, Judith, I'm so sorry you have to leave. You watch the rest in the morning with your coffee. Good night. <laughs> Happy you could join us. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is one of the swap cards that I got. Here's another one. Paper is very, very pretty, and it goes really nice with that ribbon. Here's some of our seaside ribbon, and that looks really pretty too, right? This is a very simple card, but yet it is, it's a very classic look, and I really like it. Then we have petal pink with the petal pink um, ribbon. And again, I love my company. I love Stampin' Up's products because so much of it, like this ribbon is out of the annual catalog. This ribbon's out of the annual catalog. You've got all this stuff that color coordinates. Makes me happy. Here we have some of the snail um, baker's twine, which is fabulous that it coordinates with this paper also. That is the Blushing Bride. Here comes some more. This is um, a beautiful, beautiful font. And again, this stamp set is free 
during celebration. This is the Healing Your Heart. Let me show it to you. Heal Your Heart right here. And then they have some just beautiful cards that they've made with it. Wow, those are really pretty. Huh. I need to make some of those. <laughs> And then, last but not least, look at how pretty this is. This has some um, shimmer paint sprayed on it. And it uses that paint um, texture embossing folder with a scallop die. Oh, so pretty. The champagne, or the, yeah, the petal pink champagne rhinestones. All this color coordination stuff. I just love it. Oh, this one. I miss this. This uses those um, clear and frosted epoxy dots. That's pretty. We've also got some of those new pearls on here that are in the mini catalog that go with the hydrangea set. That's That looks cute too. So this is one of our free packs of paper during celebration and I just thought it would be worth your time and mine to share with you all these pretty cards that I got using that paper. Like it's a lot of variety, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. I like this white one a lot. I don't know what it is, but I just keep getting drawn to that one. Which one of these is your favorite? They're all very nice cards. I swap with very good card makers. That's part of the deal. <laughs> okay, last but not least, I want to show you my mail. Let me set these aside. Deb Hildebrand. I'm happy to see you on here. This is from, hang on, this is from Sherry Adams. Look at how pretty that is. And here's another classic example of how paper just can really um, make a card so spectacular. I love this Stitch So Sweetly dies too. So, and she used the epoxy dots, the frosted epoxy dots. She says, Kelly, can I just say thank you so much for sharing Stampin' Up! tips and your creativity every week, sometimes every day. You have such a fan, fun, magnetizing personality. My week is not complete until I have seen one or two of your videos. Also, thanks for sending the supplies for card number seven. Oh, that's another story. She thought they were missing out of her card kit, so she contacted me and said, I don't have any supplies for this card, and so I mailed them off right away, and then she found them later, which happens, right? She says, I uh, hope you and your family stay healthy and well. Happy New Year. Thank you so much, Sherry. You are just the sweetest. Hang on, I gotta take a drink. Dry spot. Peggy wants to know if I'm doing um, DSP samplers. I am not for the current catalog that we are in, but I am considering doing them again for our next annual catalog, Peggy, and you will see advertising on my blog if I do decide to do that. I'm pretty sure that I will. Here's the problem. First of all, uh, we ran out of cardstock. This, these are printed on Whisper White, and we ran out of Whisper White, and so I didn't even know if I could get it in. That was a big, like, oh my gosh, so uncertain. But then the Basic White replaced it, and it came in fairly quickly. But that's neither here nor there. Here they're there. Here or there. <laughs> Let's see if I can talk. <laughs> Maybe I need a little unicorn magic. Or perhaps I need to be using my tiny hands. So... That was number one. Number two is that these sheets are so labor intensive, you wouldn't even believe me if I told you. They are so much work to make up kits for people. And um, the one thing that is crazy is we, I, I probably punched at least 10,000 one inch circles to make the kits that were ordered. Because like this page alone has seven circles on it. So um, I think what I'm going to do if I do offer these with the next new catalog is that I am going to give you enough cardstock in the coordinating colors and you can punch them out yourself. And I think that won't be a big hardship for anybody. You could use a flower, you could use a circle, you could use whatever punch you want. But um, I would then provide you with enough Night of Navy and enough Old Olive and enough Petal Pink and so on and so forth for all different pages for all the different colors. And I think that would make my life not want to poke my eyes out. <laughs> but literally, 10,000 circles. It's crazy. So that's why I didn't do them again this time because 
we were in Christmas and then, you know, we've got celebrations starting and it, it just, I just didn't feel like I could handle it and that I would be able to get them out of here in a reasonable amount of time. And I don't want to, I don't know, not follow through with something that I say I'm going to do because I just can't. <laughs> Wendy. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. <laughs> so there we go. That's my explanation. Watch for them coming for the next one. I probably will do them. It'll be a little bit lighter time frame for me when that new catalog comes out than it was for Christmas and celebration. <laughs> little hands are on. Just go and do a search. Little hands or tiny hands or something like that. You will find them. I got a, um, a pack of 10. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny. Okay, this next card comes to me from Debbie Bach. Debbie is my one of my big helpers for my team meetings. She has been doing the door prize drawings for me, and then she sends me a list of who the winners are, and then I send out all the gifts, or the prizes, I should say. So um, she also does our company updates at our team meeting, which is virtual every month. Now, you guys remember, it is celebration right now, and you can order a kit for $99 to get a future discount on all your orders. You get to choose $125 worth of product. You only pay $99 plus tax. You get free shipping. You get a paper pumpkin kit. Plus, you get five packages of designer series paper. Oh, and I thought I had mine here, but I don't. Um, you get five packs of 6x6 six six designer series paper. That's worth $65. So our total kit is worth over $200. You get it for $99 bucks plus shipping. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> if you have a hoard order around $100, Order the kit. You get to be part of my team, and then you will get to know Debbie, who does our door price drawings and our company updates on a Zoom meeting that we have once a month. They are so fun. Is the unicorn too much with the tiny hand? I'm not sure, but it's funny. <laughs> so here's Debbie's card, and look at how cool this is. I keep playing with it, but she used acetate or window sheets. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest? And she wrote on the back. So this is just a slice. Watch this a slice down here, and then she scored it to make it a three panel, and she embossed it with the snowflake embossing folder, which I think is totally cool. This this card just rocks. And um, Debbie says, "Holy moly, what a wonderful surprise! Re receiving a package from you. Happy, happy mail. Uh, you are so very gracious. The four pack of sequins are so nice. I always." I like to add a little bling to my cards. This is my pleasure helping you out. So she helps me every month, and so I sent her a little gift. Yeah, very cool. I love your card. It's beautiful. Next up, we have... Um, Debbie says people can make their own DSP samplers, and you, Kelly, can spend time playing with Val. I love your thinking, Debbie. That's funny, but no, it is, it is kind of part of my job. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Look at the poppies. I love this. The black and white paper, this black and white card, which is a touch of red, is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, we got a little strip in there. Now, this card comes to me from, uh, this is from Chris Wood. Just wanted to drop you a note and thank you for the Be Mind Stitch dies. I didn't get to watch the live that night, so I watched the replay. I had to rewind. To make sure it was me, she won the stitched Be Mine Stitch dies. I got my dies this week and I love them just in time for Valentine's Day. Also wanted to thank you for the helping me out with the gift certificate I got from my daughter for Christmas. You guys know I have gift certificates available in any denomination, right? Just so you know that. If you know somebody or you want to give somebody a gift and they can pick it out, I can hook you. I can hook a girl up. She says, now I'm waiting on the UPS man. I still look forward to Sunday night videos. It makes my week start out good. Again, thanks for all you do for us. Tell Steve to keep an eye on John. We love the stories. <laughs> I will. Don't worry. Next up, Debbie Hudson. Look at how cute this is. I see the beep up fairy has visited again. Yeah. She says, it's great to have you as my friend. You're fun to be around, Bobby. Thank you so much. And I love your little fairy. That is hysterical. <laughs> I have a little um, sign over here, you guys. 
This is one of my little signs in my office. Ah, I see the screw up fairy has visited, visited us again. And my mom, I have a funny story. So my mom, she got my sister-in-law a card that has like a chubby fairy on the front. And then it said something about, I see that the big butt fairy visited you again or something like that. And then on the inside, it was some funny thing about a happy birthday. But I was like, mother, <laughs> you can't give that to somebody. And she's like, oh, she thought it was hysterical. And she really did. She didn't care. But it said, I see the big butt. <laughs> that was my, to my sister-in-law, no less. So then my mom's the mother-in-law, right? Yeah, it was cute. Anyways, we have one more card here from... Jessica Wheatley. And isn't this pretty? This is a very, very popular layout right now. I really like it. And I love how you can use the coordinating colors of cart or designer series paper, right? So it says, looking forward to the pine class that I bought but haven't worked on yet. Excellent. Get that done, Jessica. She says, thank you so much for inspiring videos you so generously um, share. Your laugh is infectious and always makes me smile. Wishing you and your family a happy and healthy 2021. You know what? And that's what I'm hoping for you guys. I'm hoping that when you come on here that you can go away from it being uplifted and in a good mood and ready to just rock your new week. I That's what I hope. Okay, next up. Hang on. Um, up, 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 up. Look at this. Yeah, so this came in the mail. And I thought it was just some more of my retail therapy, but it wasn't. This was sent from um, Debbie Bach. And she says, sending you a small gift, a token of my appreciation, something I hope will inspire you daily. God bless you and your family. And look at that. These are a daily reading that I can turn to like January 7th, January 8th, and I can read these and I can feel uplifted about my day, right? Thank you, Debbie. This is really cool. And it's got one of these little easily things on it. Like what a really nice gift. Like, isn't that fun? So this will be able to sit. And Steve, Steve, he was dressed. He really liked it. Then he slept in peace and woke up safely for the Lord was watching over me. And now, although 10,000 enemies surround me on every side, I am not afraid. Yeah. Thank you. That was really, really sweet. Last up. Oh, I should leave this in here and show you how cute it was. Look at how cute this was. This, is, this was in this little cellophane bag. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I might save that, put that in with my Christmas stuff. <laughs> and... Oh, this is so cute. I love this. Hang on. I got to open up the note. My tiny hand doesn't want to cooperate. It says, wanted to thank you for all that you do. I really enjoy the Facebook lives. They have helped me get through some really tough days. And of course, this last year has been a challenge for everyone. I know we will be okay and that God will care for us. Most people don't like change. And I think we have all been forced to make some kind of changes, big and small. She, yeah. And so this is um, a story. She has an adult son that she has dedicated her life to take care of. He is on life support. He'll be 34 in March, and he's the oldest surviving in the nation with his condition. He is a total miracle, and I thank God for him every day. And isn't that just the sweetest thing? When I read this, I was like, you are an amazing person. So she says, I have been stamping for over 25 years. I am getting old. Yikes. <laughs> She started making packets of all occasion cards for her family and friends for Christmas. I thought I would share this year's packet with you. I cheated on two of the cards by using the paper pumpkin. That's not cheating. It's so funny because I thought everyone would feel cheated, but they actually love the smaller cards. Huh. Maybe I'll cheat again in the future. I hope you like the cards. I pray for you and your family regularly. Kathy Smith. So look at this, you guys. You guys know I love stuff like this, right? So we've got this little booklet here. I think this is cutting off the circulation of my finger. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it on that one. Okay, that's better. Christmas wishes and joyful greetings. Look at how pretty this is. She's got like a little folder thing that she scored here and she put a whole bunch of cards in each side. We might have to make one of these. Look at 
how fun these are. All different kinds, right? And then these are the cards she's talking about where she felt like she was cheating. Uh, no, these are beautiful. Very, very pretty. Kathy, you did just an amazing job on all of these. And then I got to show you this part. Hang on. The card on the front, the like piece on the front, look what she did. This little card is removable for future use. Merry Christmas. And look at on the inside. She's got a little slit here. Let me pull this out. So that there's an envelope for it. There's a little slit right here so that you can take this card out and use it also. Is that not incredible? This is so cool. I gotta put this back in here. But I think we should make one of these. What do you guys think? I think that would be really cool. And then I can share all the dimensions with you. And then you guys can make some of them too. And I'm telling you, if you do not make gifts of cards for your friends, family, family, I don't care who people love homemade cards. event around the area okay I won't ship them because they're really heavy but people come to me and ask me if I will make a donation to their benefit that they're doing people fight over the boxes of cards that are donated and I'm telling you friends and family love these as a gift if you're not making gifts of cards please start I just I'm telling you you will not believe how much people will absolutely love your gift. You think it's like, oh, it's just some silly little thing that I made and they're not, they don't need that. And they're not going to like that. Stop. You give yourself some credit. Homemade cards are very valuable and very thought felt and very sought after. So there, there's my little rant. <laughs> I sound like somebody's mother scolding you, right? But I'm telling you, I hear from so many people like, oh, they're not going to like that. Yeah, they, they will. You need to stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop right now. <laughs> they will love it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to let you go. What time is it? Holy cow, it's almost 9 o'clock. I'm really sorry, but we had fun, didn't we? <laughs> I'm going to let you guys know, go. Please make sure you share this video. Give me a thumbs up on Facebook right now. That thumbs up really helps me. Use this host code if you're going to place an order with me and it's under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards and I definitely want you to have those. If you're putting in an order over $150, you need to be joining the shopper at the very least. And if you order that starter kit, if you join my on your other devices. You can place orders. You can do all the things. You can access the website, but you can't order the kit on your um, iPad, tablet, or cell phone. The other thing, you get to pick out $125 worth of product. Does that include celebration items? Heck no. They're free. You're already getting a $200 plus kit for $99. You're not going to get some more free stuff with celebration. Okay, That's like triple dipping triple dipping. But you can, after you order your kit, put in another order and for each $50, you will get to choose your celebration item. Plus you're going to get a minimum $20, $20, not $20, 20% discount on all your, um, all your future orders. So just wanted to let you know about that. If you're considering putting in a substantial order, please join my team. You will absolutely love it. And if you don't love it, you will have gotten a whole bunch of free stuff really inexpensively and no hard feelings. If you have to leave my team, that's fine. You can continue to order from me. Like, I don't have anything against that, right? <laughs> and no, I haven't been drinking. I just want to be perfectly clear. All right, guys. I hope you have a magical week. The tiny hand says bye-bye. Thank you for putting up with my crazy antics. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>